If you want to understand what is a silicon wafer, it is essential to understand the way that they are created. But first, it is interesting to note that silicon wafers found in all semiconductor devices are one of the most important products of our age. Silicon wafers and semiconductors have led to product shortages around the globe. In turn, these shortages have caused supply line turmoil that could lead to regional or even worldwide recession with the possible threat of depression if war over our semiconductors breaks out. The main threat is China's potential invasion of semiconductor powerhouse Taiwan. Ultimately, a silicon chip is a semiconductor and silicon wafers are used in almost every electronic device today. Here are some of the benefits of using this type of material. Read on to find out more. To make semiconductors, a silicon ingot is a large piece of silicon that is grown to a specific size and specification. A single crystal silicon wafer can take from one week to a month to grow. A silicon wafer is used as a semiconductor in electronics and is used in the manufacturing of integrated circuits. An integrated circuit is a stacked stack of electronic components that work together to perform a function. An integrated circuit can contain hundreds of millions of transistors, resistors, and capacitors, and is crucial to the function of many types of electronic equipment. But how do you go about creating one? Here are some tips to get started. Silicon wafers are used in electronics, including semiconductor chips. They are inexpensive to produce, and their high purity is important for their efficiency. Because of their high purity, silicon wafers must be extremely pure to be effective in electronic devices. Impurities can affect the performance of solar cells and electronics. Even tiny disruptions can impede electron flow, so manufacturers must make sure that the silicon they were using is pure. Ideally, silicon wafers should be single crystals, but this is difficult to achieve in the real world. Another important factor for the market is that the demand for renewable energy sources is increasing rapidly. This will result in more demand for silicon wafers and will further develop the semiconductor industry. So, what is the future of silicon wafers? In addition to being able to use them for solar energy, they are also essential for the development of modern electronics. In fact, silicon is the most widely used semiconductor material today, so it is essential to ensure that your production processes are as efficient as possible. In semiconductor manufacturing, silicon is the most common material but it can be used in a wide variety of applications. Currently, silicon wafers are a popular part of computers, and the technology behind them is rapidly expanding. However, it is not an easy task to manufacture a semiconductor. In fact, the process can be highly complex, and engineers need to know the requirements and benefits of their product. It is not just the materials that are used in semiconductors, but also the processes that are applied to the fabrication of these devices. Several publications have been written on the history of silicon and silicon wafers. The first one is Levy, Roland Albert. The second is Grosvenor, Sinisi, Yoshio. The history of silicon wafers is an essential part of technology. The two are important for the industry. They provide the foundation for a vast variety of electronic devices. When it comes to the technology behind silicon, they play a major role in every industry. The first step in creating a semiconductor is to make it a semiconductor. The most basic form of silicon is a silicon chip, which is a type of semiconductor. It is a crystalline material, and the most common type of semiconductor is silicon. These are typically rectangular, but some people prefer to use a larger variety of shapes, such as a hexagonal one. You can create a device of this material in many ways, and it is important to consider the material's composition. The main difference between a silicon ingot and a silicon wafer is the process by which it is grown. The first step is to make a silicon ingot. This is a flat sheet of material that is made from silicon. 
It is then grown in a machine. Usually, it takes a few days to grow a single crystal. This is not a difficult task and requires some experience. Once you know the fundamentals of how a semiconductor is made, you can start making an informed decision. Silicon wafers are a critical component of semiconductor manufacturing. They are the most common type of semiconductor and are used in a variety of devices. They help to increase the efficiency of solar cells by increasing the area of the solar cell. They are also used in the manufacturing of solar cells. The brittleness of silicon wafers can be a problem for many manufacturers, especially when nearing the completion phase. University Wafer Incorporated provides all silicon wafer specifications. We have silicon wafers in stock and ready to ship. Silicon wafers in stock.